Hello again my friends, welcome back to an ongoing series where I talk you through my exotic loot drops from the weekly Nightfall Strikes, so without further ado, let's begin. Now for my first Nightfall Strike, I bagged myself Don't Touch Me, Exotic Gauntlets for the Hunter. Now this is an exotic that's exclusive to the Dark Below DLC, so then let's have a look at this in more detail. Now the first thing you'll notice after you've equipped this item is the huge shoulder spike. It looks like a stag beetle's mandible, definitely one of the most distinctive hunter gauntlets in the game. Now let's have a look at this thing's perks. Now, the description for this armour reads Amputated from a creature that stumbled out of a Vex gate. A vestigial defence reflex still remains. Now, let's have a look at this thing's perks. First up, we have Special Weapon Loader. Increases the reload speed of all special weapons. Next up, we have Inverse Shadow. Increased super energy gained from killing minions of the darkness. And this item's unique perk, Defensive Reflex. Taking damage from a melee attack makes you briefly invisible. Now, we're going to have a look at this particular perk in more detail. Now, as you can see, when I'm struck with a melee attack I briefly turn invisible and all nearby enemies ignore me which means I stop taking damage and can get in a few sneaky shots before they realise what's happened but this perk really shines in PvP let's have a look at a few examples First up, we have Moon Map Anomaly. Now, I go head to head with this crouching guardian and we end up exchanging blows, which activates my invisibility perk, allowing me to also take out this incoming guardian. Now, I'd have almost certainly been ambushed without this perk. Next up, we have the Burning Shrine Map on Mars. I've slowed this clip down so I can talk you through it. Now, the hunter on the opposing team blinks into a position directly behind me and deals a melee blow. I turn invisible, which gives me time to look this poor confused bastard directly in the eye before unloading a shotgun shell in his face. A LOL. Now, for my second Nightfall Strike, I managed to bag myself Monte Carlo, an exotic auto rifle that's exclusive to PlayStation until at least fall 2015. So then, let's have a look at this thing's perks. Now, the description for Monte Carlo reads as follows. There will always be paths to tread and methods to try. Roll with it. So then, let's have a look at this thing's perks. First up, we have Hip Fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. And this weapon's unique perk, the Monte Carlo Method. Dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill. Now, as long as you're shooting and killing enemies with this weapon, you pretty much always have a fully charged melee ability. If you love to take down enemies with melee attacks, this is the weapon for you. Now, I also equip the Smart Drift Control perk and the Send It perk as this combo makes this weapon super stable. So then, let's have a look at this weapon in action. Now, this clip demonstrates this weapon's excellent stability and just how quickly your melee ability charges when you take down enemies. You'll also see how well this weapon fires from the hip. Now, I find that this weapon performs best at mid to short range. You'll struggle to get kills at long range. Now, as a PvE weapon, this thing is pretty effective. Having said that, Fatebringer is still my go-to PvE gun, but I've got to say, I actually really enjoy using Monte Carlo. The fact that this gun performs as well firing from the hip as it does down sights makes it effective against enemies that tend to rush you like the Thrall. As a PvP weapon, it's easily outclassed by Saurus Regime and Hawkmoon, two weapons with far better range. Overall, this is a nice addition to have in your collection, but it's more of a trophy gun, something that looks cool and performs adequately, but ultimately takes a backseat to other weapons. As long as I have Fatebringer and Hawkmoon, I can't really see myself using this weapon. Now, for my third Nightfall Strike, I bagged myself up for anything, a legendary auto rifle. My teammate got effing Hawkmoon, so yeah, I think it's pretty obvious who got the better loot drop. As an educated philosopher once said, ain't nobody got time for that. Now, my most epic loot drop actually came from the Crucible. I managed to bag myself, well, see for yourself. Right, I finally got the mother chuffing hook moon. <laughs> Fucking yes. Now let's take a moment to bask in this elusive bastard's glorious light. Okay, that's quite enough of that shit. Now, this is the Hawkmoon, an exotic hand cannon that's exclusive to the PlayStation Network until at least fall 2015. Its description reads, Stalk thy prey and let loose thy talons upon the darkness. So let's have a look at this thing's perks. We've got luck in the chamber, one random bullet in the magazine causes considerable bonus damage, and we have holding aces. Two more random bullets in your magazine deal considerable bonus damage. Now that's a total of three random bullets in your magazine that deal considerable bonus damage and that's what makes this such a formidable weapon. It's possible to take someone out with two effing headshots. Now I also use the Accurized Ballistic perk 
and the Hammer Forge perk as this combo greatly improves the weapon's range and accuracy, effectively making this thing a mini sniper rifle. This is definitely my favourite PvP weapon and you're about to see why. Now, like I said before, this thing has excellent range so you can sit back and pick off enemies from a distance and it never seems to take more than 3 shots to take someone down. Hawkmoon's 12 bullet magazine, high impacts, excellent range and accuracy and 3 bonus damage bullets make this, in my opinion at least, Destiny's best PvP weapon. Now, I'm by no means the greatest PvP player in the world, but I always seem to consistently place first or second when I'm rocking the Hulk Moon, and that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you may very well enjoy my first exotic loot video. Simply click the on-screen image or follow the link in the description box below. You'll also find links to all my social media, including my Twitter account, at More Console. This is where I tweet daily Destiny content, including pictures, opinions, and of course, news. If you'd like to keep bang up to date with Destiny, feel Feel free to follow me on Twitter. And guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for your amazing support with this channel. You have made this one of the craziest years of my life, crazy in a good way. This year I've been flown out to America three times and Germany once, and on every occasion it was for early access hands-on time with Destiny. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and commenting on my videos and being part of this amazing community. We're just about to hit 200,000 subscribers, a figure which when I think about it actually makes me feel dizzy. Thank you so much for caring about this channel and supporting my content. You truly are my beautiful bastards and that really does bring us to the end of the video. Take care, have an amazing Christmas and New Year's and I wish you all the goodwill in the world. And as always, until next time Guardians.